everybody on the internet and YouTube. Welcome back to The Sims 2 with me, T Addict. Today we are renovating the goth mansion. This is a speed build, well speed renovation I guess you would say, of the goth mansion from my Pleasant View Let's Play. If you haven't been watching it then you should definitely check it out because it's pretty, uh, pretty cool, I think, anyway. You know, <laughs> uh, so d basically the story is that Dina Goth has moved in and she has asked Mortimer if she could please, please, please renovate this house, improve it, update it, modernize it just slightly, even though he's a giant technophobe and hates, you know, TVs and computers and all that sort of stuff. Uh, yeah, and he's given her the okay. So she has uh, kicked the boys out for the day and she... <laughs> has hired a builder, aka me, and uh, we are letting rip on the goth mansion. So the first thing that I tried to do was to add this garage for the car that I got them in the last part. I used a bit of the old constrained floor elevation cheat, which I hadn't used in a while, so it took me a bit to sort of get back into it, but we got there in the end and got the garage attached all nice and then uh, here I'm just having a look through all the different wallpapers, trying to see which ones I'm gonna be able to use to deal with the diagonal. And I was thinking at first that I would use uh, some render, some stucco, uh, but I end up just going with a brick and you'll see later in the video that I just kind of cover it up with some vines, which I think works really well. Uh, but that's alright, we'll see that later. So moving on now, I found that brick texture that I really liked for the main house. I wanted to just lighten it up just slightly and then I thought about putting a render over the very front of the house, but then I was like, mm, no, too white, too light. I couldn't find a dark enough one that I really liked. So I went with this black brick for the majority of the build. I do actually end up changing it right at the end, but for the mod for the majority of this video that black brick is going to be just on the front and around the foundations of the build and I do think it looks nice. I think the one I found looks better in the end but yeah. So then the next step uh, I took was to redo the roof and if you didn't know with mansions and gardens stuff pack for The Sims 2 you got a bunch of really cool roof pieces that you could add around uh, and to create sort of a curved mansion looking roof so that is what I'm about to do right here you'll see me start to pull out the pieces play around with the colors a bit and then you just layer them all the way around the house now it is very expensive <laughs> compared to a normal roof but I think it looks so so much better like that than it did before and then I would look I sort of zoomed out and looked at the build and I thought no we need a little bit more like right on the top uh, just to really give the build some extra height so I go ahead and do that and I think that really improves it even more and I love it it looks really really cool and we can just fill in the rest of the roof with that tile and you can still get up there to use the telescope I'm playing around with maybe even making that room bigger and then I'm like nah <laughs> uh, but yeah you can still get up there to use the telescope I uh, later in the video I'll put a spiral staircase up to that little room and basically now it's good because it means that the attic isn't open to the elements uh, it's got you know an extra room there with a door which I'll put in in a sec um oh yeah that was in a minute here as well I'm gonna realize that I need to put in a cheat to allow me to access the top of that building uh, which I then did. There's a really cool cheat in The Sims 2 called um, uh, set highest loud level I think it is which allows you to yeah like uh, increase how high you can build your buildings. You can set it to whatever you want but if you build above I think it's like 15 or 16 levels you'll, you'll get game crashes so yeah because the default is like three levels plus a foundation or something like that so I am up mine to 15 I think um, just so I could access the very very top of this building and chuck that flooring up there. Here we're starting to work on redoing the front of the lot and I go through and I pick out that tile which I really 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 like I think it looks absolutely fantastic it's kind of old kind of worn you know I meant to be updating the house but a lot of the things that I sort of do make it look older, <laughs> older and, and better older, if that makes any sense, like, because the original build is, is nice, but it, it doesn't look great, you know, <laughs> so it still looks old, but it looks better old, <laughs> so, you know, I guess we can pretend that maybe some of it was like, um, she ripped up the tiles and found older tiles underneath and they looked better, so we went with them. 
left. Let's say that. <laughs> I'm having a look through all my windows here and I end up using these thought build windows, which I use in every single build. Oh my goodness, they are such good windows. I need to jump on Mother Sims and The Sims Resource and get some other windows <laughs> that I can use uh, because I keep using these ones and I'm gonna, you know, exhaust them if I'm not too careful but they're just such great windows and there's so many different variations of them and they look fantastic they let in a lot of light which I really love as well in The Sims 2 because a lot of the windows don't let in much light and I really like my game to look nice and bright um, yeah so right here I'm just going around and starting working on redoing the floors and the walls of the main build so obviously at the moment the color scheme is very sort of red wood or yellow wood even but we changed that to be more black white and gray mostly is the color scheme that we end up going with um, for most of the build I think that's sort of Dean's attempt at modernizing and I love this wallpaper that I got somewhere or other <laughs> it's really really nice I think it's a Sims 4 conversion potentially and I think it looks really really great uh, so I go through and I replace like I sort of try to stick to the original colors that were in the rooms a little bit but still change them up uh, and then up here I put in uh, this just pat basic wall paneling which I think looks really cool I'm trying to use a straight staircase there and then I'm like wait a minute I'm an idiot what? just use a spiral staircase because I can because we have them in The Sims 2 <laughs> Fucking Sims 4. <laughs> All right, so now we've jumped back down to the kitchen and I'm going through more floor tiles. I have so many custom content floors and walls, guys. It's a little bit overwhelming sometimes. I liked that tile and I left it in there for a little while, but then I was like, oh, it's a bit too light, I think. Um, I found that wooden, wooden floorboard. It's almost like parquetry, but not quite, which I really, really liked. I played around with a few different colors and tones and, and finishes, but I ended up just sticking with that one. I thought it looked really great. Um, at the moment, I've got it in the front room as well. I will actually change that when I change the kitchen tiles so that the whole front area is tiled, like the foyer and the kitchen in the same tile. And I think it looks okay. I'm not the hugest fan of it, but one thing about this renovation is that I wanted it to be like, you know Dina was in charge so not necessarily my taste or what I would pick or what I think looks fantastic but what Dina might think looked fantastic and um, it was a bit of a tricky thing to do obviously because we don't necessarily have the same taste me and Dina goth oh yeah they're the tiles that I picked um, but I, I worked it out in the end now I spend absolutely forever going through my carpets trying to pick out a carpet that I like like honestly forever. I found a nice black one that I put in the orange room, which is gonna become Alexander's room. But then I'm just like, do I want floorboards? Which color carpet do I want? Do I want black everywhere? Do I wanna change the carpet? It's like really confusing and hard and weird and I just get really overwhelmed trying to pick out carpets, apparently. <laughs> but in the end, I figure it out and I decide to do floorboards in the hallway. Um, right here, I'm actually moving up all of the stuff in the rooms to the attic because I would like the goths to have a garage sale. I think that's realistic and a fun thing to do. <laughs> Some of it I forget to move up there and I sell, but uh, yeah, so I moved a lot of it up there. And then here we're starting working on Alexander's room and in a minute or two, I actually had a very unfortunate game crash. <laughs> it was really, really upsetting. I, I had saved luckily when I put in the neighborhood cheat. So thankfully I didn't lose the entire renovation cause that would have really sucked. But uh, yeah, I don't know what happened uh, with my game. It was running pretty slowly and then kind of all of a sudden I don't know what I'm doing there uh, but yeah it was running really slowly and then all of a sudden it just died it just 100% died so yeah um, the custom content set I'm using throughout this build more than any other is the heavy wood set which I've mentioned a few times in my let's play as like one of the best custom content sets ever heavy wood heavy wood set I'm pretty sure it's on the sims resource and everybody who plays the sims 2 should download it because it's amazeballs like it's actually the best it's like it's like the quality of custom content you get in the sims 4 now from really good cc creators but like for the sims 2 it's banana cakes and then i decide that i'm gonna put a couch in alexander's room and since his color scheme seems to be like green and orange i decide to give him a green couch which i actually think looks really cute <laughs> and i also give him a laptop which i figure that mortimer might have bought for him despite his like hatred for um, electronics because he figures that 
his kid could really use a laptop in this day and age. I played around with making a corner desk, but I couldn't get it to work, so yeah. And then I put that TV in there. Q crash. <laughs> so I don't know what happened. I tested the TV out afterwards and it was fine. But anyway, here we are back again. And um, I actually end up removing the TV because, again, uh, Mortimer is a technophobe and he hates TVs in my storyline. So yeah, it, it's gone in. It's gone in the end. Uh, so now I'm starting work on the downstairs. I'm starting work on the living room and just trying to move things around. It's a bit of a tricky room to work with just because of those like archways everywhere and the fireplace and everything. I picked out that black couch that you can see there and I left it in there for a while but towards uh, the end of the build I actually come back and change that just because I felt like the pattern was just a little bit too loud. It was a little bit too eye-catching, a little bit too too much. Um, and then here I changed the uh, chess table to a black finish because again we're going with black white and gray more than anything else in this build and I did actually play test the lot uh, after I finished uh, what am I saying after I finished renovating it and that chess table does work and the chairs are in the right spot even though I placed it with the quarter tile sheet on it's always worth just double checking that your chairs go into the right spot and that the sims can use stuff when you're using quarter tile placement sheet and here I'm having a lot of fun trying to pick out curtains for the room. My set that I was using throughout the build didn't really seem to fit the window properly. I think I ended up using them anyway. Yeah, I do. Cool. Um, can't remember for the life of me where I got that set, by the way, that curtains, but they're really, really nice. You can uh, colour the blinds part different or separately to the curtains, but I need to get some more recolours because I don't have enough. <laughs> so I need to look, double check what that curtain is actually called and search for some more recolors of it because it's yeah it's beautiful all right so here in the dining room I really wanted to put in a really big dining table I thought I had one like that was a really old-fashioned huge square table and I must have actually gotten rid of that custom content because I can't find it anymore which is upsetting <laughs> um, but in the end I just uh, put in a more modern table and then I actually just changed the texture to wood and then I cover it with a tablecloth which is a really cool piece of custom content that I have and then I find it eventually. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, so I cover it with a tablecloth. Makes it look, you know, a lot more old fashioned. And I, I thought that worked really, really well. It's gonna have a sip of water. Uh, I use the same chairs there that I used for the chess table because I thought they looked really nice. And then I wanted to put like a buffet or something in there, but then I found that wardrobe and I was like, you know what, that looks really cool. Uh, so I put that in there instead and then in that corner I put a plant or two plants actually with the old deligracy trick of just layering two plants on top of each other to make it look more luscious. <laughs> in the kitchen I played around with a few different counters in the end I went back to my trusty heavy wood set because I thought it looked the best and we went with a black cupboard and a white countertop which I thought uh, looked quite good. Yeah there we go. So you can see me here just sort of starting to set up the kitchen. I use some like kind of older fashioned appliances but expensive ones. So yeah, again we're just going with that theme of like old but new. <laughs> old but new is the definitely the, the way to describe this. Um, I didn't end up using the heavy wood fridge because it looked too, too intense. So I used that one again. It's like back... What is I think that set there with the fridge and the stove is called New Vintage. So exactly like the whole theme of the build that I've been talking about. New Vintage. Um, which, yeah, I really, really liked. I found that um, wine bottle rack and I was like, oh, maybe we could put a bar in here. And I put it in there and I really wasn't sure if the Sims were going to be able to use it at all. I thought, mm, should I put it in the hallway? Uh, I'll just leave it here for now and I'll come back to it. And I do actually come back to it towards the end of the build. So don't you worry, that bar does not actually end up staying there. It goes to a place where the Sims can definitely use it. And we'll see that a little bit later on. Here I'm trying to find my range hoods, which is never an easy task when it's in like miscellaneous decorative like that that section in my game honestly scares me miscellaneous decorative oh my goodness I can't find anything in that section it's a problem I really need to go through and do another random junk cull of my custom content but it's a problem for future Beth it's a it's a it's a problem for future me yeah definitely <laughs> and then here I put in again the new oh I think that's actually the heavy wood that's the heavy wood dishwasher for some reason that sink wouldn't work in that counter so I just did a little bit of a switcheroo and then I end up 
uh, finding the heavy wood trash compactor as well and putting that in the kitchen so they've got a dishwasher, a sink and a trash, trash compactor. Um, luckily I didn't actually forget the bin this time. Oh here we go, I'm going back to change that couch because I just went, no, it's just not quite right. And I end up using a recolor of this lap of luxury sofa which I think works quite well. I wish it matched the love seat better but I don't have a matching texture apparently which is upsetting. Sometimes, you know, I still miss creator style from The Sims 3. Hmm, let's all just pause for a moment and think about that tool <laughs> and how great it was. All right, so here I just move over the little um, toilet area and then I end up, at first I was thinking that I would make it like a full bathroom downstairs, like I would have the toilet separately and then do a fake um, laundry and then I get distracted because I'm like oh I should put some stairs down into the garage and then I realized that I couldn't put stairs down into the garage because I didn't have space with the footprint of the parking lot Oy. so then I realized that I had to extend the garage by one more tile which honestly I was so done with trying to use like constrained floor elevation I was like oh why is this my life but I got there and I extended it and it was all good moments like that I wish I had the click and drag you know that the sims 4 kind of had because that was real nice you can see there is an example of that awkward um what's it called diagonal wall space that you get and i was like you know what yeah i'm just gonna cover it up with some vines pretend there's some vines growing on the side of the building um and it worked really well i think and then i was like oh I, and i got a bit inspired with my vines and i was like maybe i'll just put some of these like all around the house I, and I just extend that little garden bed a little bit, put in some of the mansion and garden flowers because they look really pretty, I think. And yeah, just put a little bit of ivy sort of in the corners, a little bit of wall climbers. And I think it looks really nice. Um, yeah, and then so here now I've actually got space to put in a little staircase down into the garage and then I wall it off so you can access the garage from inside the house and you don't have to go outside through the garage door. So yeah, I thought that was really nice. And then here is when I decided to just get rid of that little room and I was like, oh, I'll move the piano there. And then I went, you know what, actually, the bar should go there. Ah, oh. so then I moved the piano around to the other wall. I just put some extra uh, counters in the kitchen because, oh, no, 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 that's right. I put in a kitchen buffet. Uh, like it's like it's a side table essentially. But um, yeah, I found one that I thought looked kind of cool. That one right there. Didn't have anything better. <laughs> Yeah, so I just leave that one in there and I thought uh, I thought that looked really nice um, And then here I just put in a little half wall to block off the bar area a little bit And then I decide I want to put a chair just a chair just for fun <laughs> I played around with that one a little bit and then I think what I end up doing is actually just grabbing another one Yeah of the dining chairs that I've kind of been using around the house Oh, I hear I'm looking for the grandfather clock item and I just couldn't find it again my decorative sections in this game honestly just freaked me out <laughs> i gave up after a while it, i can actually see it on screen right now but um yeah I, I gave up after a while and then later on when i was furnishing another part of the house i found it and i was like oh cool sweet and i went back and i put it in there <laughs> all right so we're moving on to oh yeah i did a save good job me didn't want to lose all of that progress again <laughs> Right now we're moving on to the upstairs. So we're starting off with the bathrooms. I really like that floor tile and yeah, I just sort of uh, rearranged the bathroom a little bit so that we could have a his and hers sink. I really wanted to yeah, just upgrade the ensuite so it was a bit like that. So I'll put in a couple of counters in a sec. That is from the Country Kitchen custom content pack which is another really, really nice kitchen pack actually. And those counters have so many recolors, it's actually like ridiculous. Like you can get any kind of, yeah, style you want. Um, but yeah, I thought they looked, worked really well. Just that nice white marble countertop. I put a plant in the, that useless little corner. Two sinks, I changed the um, counters over to wood because I was like, blue's a little bit too fun for Dina. Dina's more like, oh no, I have to be classic. and. I have to look make it look gothy and <laughs> blue was just a bit too much fun so <laughs> yeah we ended up going with dark wood <laughs> here I'm just looking through and getting a bit of um, clutter for the bathroom I don't have much but just a few little touches here and there which I think work quite nicely I found a toaster which I didn't know I had in game which was cool oh and then I found those really cool little like floor rotator object things so you can actually it's a mod I'm pretty sure I got it from Mother Sims and you can freely rotate things in like five degree increments with that and I was like oh my goodness that's amazing 
<laughs> then I went through and I changed the color of all of the doors, pretending that they gave them all a coat of paint or something, I don't know. And, um, and then I realized I didn't have any lights, so I put some of those in. Um, I am a big fan of using the restyle tool rather than selling and rebuying the object because I think it should cost us in more money to like yeah to paint a door or do whatever I also removed a couple of the doors you will have noticed so that end bathroom it used to be kind of like a through space like sims could just yeah like literally literally walk straight through there and I hated it so <laughs> I got rid of two of the doors so now you can only access that bathroom from the hallway which I think works a lot better Oh yeah, okay, so that bed I end up using with a quilt cover on it. Um, that is like, oh, it's called a, the gothic set or something. It looks really, really cool. I think it works so well for this house and for this build. So yeah, really happy with that find. And then that um, bed cover is the Jope, J-O-P-E, Jope bedspread or something. I don't tend to use the bedspreads much because it really annoys me when the Sims lie in the bed that, you know, they their actual cover kind of sticks up through the extra doona but that's all right um and then for the wardrobe i do a huge built-in unit that i got is which is a sims 4 conversion i'm pretty sure that i grabbed and i i really love it i think it turned out so well look at that like a full wall wardrobe and i was like you know what yes yes dina goth would want this in her bedroom <laughs> <laughs> if she can't have a walk-in robe, she's gonna have a full like built-in situation going on here. Um, I don't have much clutter, you know, in terms of clothes and that kind of thing, but I, I kind of make the best of what I've got. I end up using a couple of one more uh, slot packages. Oh, that's where I found the grandfather clock. Good job, me. Um, yeah, I end up using a bunch of one more slot packages because the shelves were being annoying. Um, but yeah, you'll just see me grab out a bunch of recolors of the same stack of sweaters it's it's not very interesting but at the end of the day I think it works it's just there for looks and that is actually a functional dresser I do believe so the sims can uh, plan their outfit and change their outfit with it which I think is really cool I was looking for something to put in there and I almost put that in there that wedding dress because I was like oh Dina would so have her wedding dress on display <laughs> um, for a while I leave that in there and then I end up finding a better item uh, later on um, now we're moving on to preparing for the new Bubba Lubba who is coming and I end up just using a base game uh, crib and change table it's I think it's really cute looks nice obviously I don't know if we're having a boy or a girl so I try to keep it pretty gender neutral with just sort of purple and yellow and blue which you know I think that either gender can enjoy those colors <laughs> I put that beautiful dresser in the corner and then I put a lounge chair in there because I, I love putting lounge chairs in my nurseries so that it's like the sims can take a nap <laughs> when they're trying to look after their baby or their toddler like I'm so tired I just need somewhere comfy to nap and then they yeah they have a nice you know lounge chair oh and here here I'm decorating the hallway with some of my custom family portraits uh, which is one of my favorite projects that I've done over the last few months uh, for this let's play so I've got a bunch of goth family portraits a bunch with Bella some with the older goths um, and then I decided that anything with Bella in it I reckon Dina would have stashed up in the attic. So Mortimer's wedding pictures are on the wall, like, and his grandparents' pictures are on the walls and everything, but anything with Bella in it, so I end up moving that huge one there, I, I put up in the attic. Um, there'll be, you know, storyline purposes to that, but yeah, I wanted it to be like, oh, like, all of the wedding photos with Mortimer and Bella, she just didn't want to look at. Yeah, she didn't want to see Bella, and then she's hidden them behind that dresser there. <laughs> yeah, so they're stashed, stashed in a corner in the attic. And then I put that research station up there as well because I realised that Mortimer had that in his uh, inventory for reaching the top of the science career. There we go. Yeah, so it's decorated with all pictures of like Morty and um, his family but nothing with Bella because I don't think Dina is a big fan of Bella. <laughs> this bathroom I don't do too much with. I just upgraded the bath and put in a separate shower. I always hate when the Sims houses only have a bathtub because baths take twice as long as showers. So I always, always, always put in a shower. <laughs> it's just one of my little things. Like a bath is like a luxury, you know, like when you're having a rough day and you're like, I need a bath. That's when you go have a bath. <laughs> Not every day. That's such a waste of water as well. Oh, that was when I realized that the garage had glitched out a little bit with my constrained floor elevation. So I had to fix that up, which I do. There we go. Bob's your uncle. Move my vines. 
And then I actually recolored that to match in better with the rest of the house. Um, at this point, we are actually getting close to being almost done with the bulk of the build. This is when I start playing around again with the outside textures because I'm like, I'm not such a huge fan of that really black brick. And so I changed it to that sort of lighter gray. And then I was like, maybe I could put a render like on the rest of the house instead of that brick because it's a lot of brick on brick on brick on brick on brick. However, I couldn't find a matching set. <laughs> It was so frustrating. I tried for so long to find the stucco color that went with those two pieces there with that little like edge brick trim and I just couldn't find it. I literally, it, it was probably a solid 20 minutes real time that I spent trying desperately to find it and I just couldn't do it. I was so annoyed. Ah. But that's all right. Look, I'm even looking through all of my like random collection files being like, do I have a collection file which has this wallpaper in it? No, I don't. Oh, I'm so annoyed. <laughs> I probably should have cut this part out of the video, but this is the pain. This is the pain of uh, building in The Sims 2 at, at some points in time, guys. <laughs> I do like it in The Sims 4, the, the wallpapers kind of come with an auto corner piece, if that makes sense. I think that's really nice. I really do enjoy that. But in the end, I just give up and I go back to the brick that I had on the wall originally. And I'm like, you know what? It's good enough. It's fine. I like it. Good to go. <laughs> um, and yeah, so in a minute, uh, there's just going to be like one little extra piece of footage where I realized that I should totally put a rug. Yep, here we go in the front room. Uh, because yeah, I just thought that tile was a little bit too busy. Uh, I played around with changing half of the room over to floorboards and then I was like, no, I don't like that either. And I, yeah. Eventually, eventually I realized that a rug would help and make the whole thing look much better. So here I'm just searching through all of my rug recolors and custom rugs and it took me a while, but eventually I picked that sort of traditional looking pattern. And yeah, so here are some screenshots of my goth renovation from that to that. I like to put more vines on the build, I think. Uh, here is the front room, looking through into the kitchen. And then we will look through into the dining room, which is, uh, I like the dining room. I think it came out really nicely. The living room. Move upstairs to the hallway. There's the butler. Hey, butler. What's up? <laughs> and all the goth family photos. This is Alex's room, very, very orange, because when he aged up to a teenager, he just decided that that was his color. Which, you know, we're not going to judge him for. That's nice. I like it. And that green couch. Oh, I love that green couch. It's so nice. Uh, the nursery ready for Bubba La Bubba. Whether it be a boy or a girl. That's Dina and Mortimer's room. I think it looks super nice. I'm, I really do like it. There's their amazing walk-in wardrobe. Look at it. Well, not walk-in, built-in wardrobe. And there's the attic with all of their random stuff that they totally need to sell in a garage sale. But yeah, so that concludes my renovation of the Goth Family Manor. I really love it. I can't wait to play more in this lot. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it and that you like what I did to the place. Um, please leave a like or a comment if you did. And subscribe if you would like to see more Sims content because I'm releasing a lot of it at the moment. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye for now.